Welcome back to the vlog. I'm already starting it in a rush, but I thought I'd give you a quick look at what I'm wearing today. This amazing jacket is from Misguided. Super, well, pretty affordable. Kind of has that acne vibe and just simple monochromatic the rest of the way down. Got my little kind of matching baggy, going for the blue vibes today. I am heading off to an exciting meeting this morning and I thought I'd bring you guys along. November in general is going so much better for me. I don't know why, I just feel like a fog has lifted a little bit. I'm feeling a bit more inspired, ready to create more content and just feeling better in myself and a bit more confident. And after my best friend left, well, one of my oldest friends, I don't know, she just brought such a light into my life that week that, I don't know, I'm just feeling better this week. I'm ready to smash it. Yeah, I've just had more meetings, more, you know, business opportunities come my way. And it just feels like the work cloud is kind of lifting and I feel like a bit more myself because when you do move countries, you do inevitably lose a lot of the contacts that you used to work with. It's just, it can't be helped even though the work that I do can be done anywhere. Moving here, it was like starting all over again, making, you know, new business opportunities, new contacts and um, getting into the industry here. And it took a really, really long time and I feel like I'm finally breaking that barrier. First up on the menu today is a breakfast with Barneys and they've only like selected like a couple of people to go or like a select number of influencers. So I'm so happy to be like included. I don't know why, I just never imagined being invited to anything with Barneys. So if you don't know, Barneys is like a kind of like Saks and Bergdorf's. It's like a big kind of high-end department store here in Manhattan. So I'm just out of Barneys downtown here in 14. Street, 16th Street. But yeah, the event was really good. I actually, unfortunately, didn't get a chance to take my camera because they took, uh, they like checked in our bags when we got there because we went through like a staff entrance for the event. But I met such lovely people. They were so fun to hang out with, like fellow bloggers and like a couple of models and everyone at Barney's was super nice. So it was a fun day of networking, I guess. And yeah, I hope to work with them in the future. Gonna pop into Fika, one of my favorite Swedish coffee shops here in the city. There's a couple of them around. Because I think it's matcha latte time. I'm feeling that cozy matcha vibe. Hey, can I just have a matcha latte please? Having a little stroll through Union Square Market. It's getting really busy here now that Christmas is coming up. It's actually a really good spot to get like organic sort of farmer's market produce. So I can't believe the Christmas market's open. I literally cannot wait to get back to Belfast and just go into a normal boring routine of going to the boring Christmas market there. And I don't know, it's just, I never thought I'd miss that. Back at the apartmento now. Mm. Um, I have a phone meeting with one of my clients in about 15 minutes which doesn't leave me much time to prepare i have a little bit to kind of write out because we're planning something at the moment so i need to sit down and do that um but otherwise i need to get some blog images done for today all this mess though i know this probably isn't that messy for some people but like i hate shit lying around like this <laughs> Just getting my Insta prepped for tomorrow, but they took like a bunch of, um, like they had this photographer to take a ton of Polaroids of us. And it was so much fun. He was so nice. Hey everyone, just doing my end of week check-in. Oh my God, I leave for Ireland tomorrow. This last week in New York has been crazy. I've been working like 15 hour days and having no time to like clean my apartment and pack or anything like that. And yeah, there's just, when you fix one problem, something else comes up and it's never ending. Oh my God, I'm gonna explode. Hey everyone, welcome back to very noisy Fifth Avenue, Manhattan. And now I'm gonna have a quick look at the Christmas lights because I won't get to enjoy them properly this winter. Sorry Topshop, I give you nil point for the, uh, the window merchandising this year. So I'm down by St. Patrick's Cathedral. First stop is Saks. Going for the candy cane festive theme, digging it. 
I'm gonna head down and have a quick look at the Rockefeller Center, see if there's anything to see down there. This does not even count as a Christmas tree. This is like straight from the forest. Massive situation. And yes, I know it would make so much more sense if I showed you all this at night, but your girl ain't got time. Oh, who do we have here? You know, just casually bezies with Jessica, freaking model on Fifth Avenue right now, obsessed. This is Jessica's face every time she comes to visit me. How divine, absolutely obsessed. I think this is the palace on 51st and Madison and this where we'll be shooting outside the famous Christmas tree that made so many appearances on the show. Perfect location, I hope it's this quiet tomorrow. Okay, I think that's all right. Um, hopefully that's in focus once again. I'm about to take the car now and head out and I just wanted to film this little section just to, I don't know, have a little reminder of this moment for myself because I recorded a similar moment this time last year almost to the week and I am going to go finally pick up my passport now. It's been sent back from the embassy. Um, I didn't get to record it, I did it on Snapchat but when I got back to Ireland um, after about a week I went for my embassy interview which is basically after you get approved for a visa you need to go to a US embassy so I went to the one in Dublin and you have to have like bring some paperwork and have like a face-to-face interview with somebody at the embassy there. It's very informal, it's usually fine, um, but it's still one thing that can go wrong and you can be denied on the spot there. So I got that over with and it all went well. If any of you guys are somehow not informed, I think I still have to say it on Instagram as well, but if you follow me on Snapchat, you will already know that my three year self-employed US visa has been approved. And I know you guys, some of you guys have been on the journey since last year. Now I'll be going back to the US completely not tied to any agency, not tied to any company, just working for myself, working creatively. And um, I would lie if I say that I'm not still scared to go back, even though I've been there for a year. You still, when you commit to something as big as uh, getting a visa and ve investing the money, and the time and to be honest the heartbreak this bloody visa it just kills you like anything to do with the US visas kills your soul I'm not gonna lie I thought I would announce it to you guys here so I hope you guys are happy for me and are excited to see more stuff from New York but after the interview they keep your passport so you can get your the page with the visa kind of printed into your passport and then they send it back to you so I'm gonna collect it now and I feel like once I have that passport in my hands I can finally relax. This process has been such a long process and I always said that I would not relax and I would not, I would stop being anxious basically as soon as I got the physical passport with the visa for three years. I am gonna do like a separate visa about my visa process and how I got it and maybe some helpful information about moving to the US and being able to work there and stuff like that and like my lawyer and all that kind of stuff. So I will get around to that, don't worry, uh, but for now, Let's just go collect my password. <laughs> I got it, the actual relief. I can't wait to get home and open it. I have it in my hands. I have it, you guys. I'm so excited. I finally have my Irish passport bag. Woohoo! All for this piece of paper in my passport that says I can live in America for three years as a non-immigrant. I'm actually laughing at this picture because Cahal took the photograph in our flat in Belfast like the night before. But yeah, it's it's a big weight off to say the least. And I can't put into words on camera like how, how down things were. And that's why I didn't vlog a lot this month. So that's why the vlog has been a little bit jumpy and all over the place, but I know you guys will understand. Hey gang, no idea whether this is in focus or not, but um, I'm just about to wrap my presents. I've turned on my one of my old studio lights, so that'll hopefully make everything a bit easier to see because the light in my home home back with my parents is like, I definitely did not go crazy this Christmas for probably the first time ever. I don't know what it is, but like every Christmas I feel like 
I end up spending like a thousand euros like it just happens without me even trying I just like to get people like decent presents but this year was a really expensive year so I've been a lot more frugal and uh, less over the top I guess and just gotten presents for like my very close family and friends and just simple things like a lot of it was last minute I'm probably the only person in the world who didn't do their Christmas shopping in New York I know I'm crazy but things were just so mental before I left that shopping was so low on my priority list. Next year I'm going to do a better job but I thought it would be fun to share some of the bits that I got because a lot of the stuff isn't crazy expensive and I might give you some ideas for next year. I don't know. I just want to fill this vlog up with something fun that you guys can do with me. This freaking vlog is going to be so random but whatever. Content's content and sometimes it's the random vlogs and just me chatting to you guys that I think you enjoy the most. Just just some old school sharing my life. So that's what I'm up to right now. Shopping was surprisingly hard today with the rain and just it made it very awkward to carry the bags and all the bags were made out of paper. I still don't understand why so many people have paper bags in Ireland because they just don't last with the rain. Also forewarning if you are a friend or a family member that I will be getting a present for, do not watch from now on because you're just gonna spoil Christmas and I love giving people surprises. So click off the video now. You will not be missing anything else except for the bits I bought today, so. First and foremost, of course, I have YouTube on, going through all of my favorite vlog misses while I wrap to keep me company. I don't know why, but we always wrap our presents upstairs in this room and it's always like really lonely and I just want company. So I am watching Sunbeam's Jess. Jess, I watch her vlogmas every single year. I hope you're doing good in college, girl. I got a few bits for Cahill in New York because I find the H&M men's stuff in New York is really well priced. I didn't realize, but these two pieces are from the David Beckham collection thing, but the tags are really pretty. I just got him like a really nice black, plain polo neck. I don't know, it's just a really, really pretty knit and I thought it would go gorge under this sort of weird marly grey shirt jacket thing. It's not a jacket and it's not a shirt, it's just like a, a thick layer. I really love it and I think those were 30, $30 each. They were really nice and they looked really architecture-y student type on the mannequin. So I got those. He needed a little new floofa, so I got him a new floofa in Primark today and then I got him this book. Every year I try and get him some kind of small little flick through architecture book. So I got him 101 things I learned in architecture school and yeah, just thought I just like getting those little small token books. I needed more stocking fillers for his sister so I got these cute NYX blushes for around 10 euros each and then like a matching Real Techniques blush brush. I think, you know, if you don't want to spend a crazy amount, I think that's a really nice combo. I think makeup brushes are just a really nice present because they're the kind of thing you don't want to buy yourself. I got a few cute things in Primark just as stocking fillers. Um, I thought these little LED lights were quite cute for three euro and you could just wrap them around anything. So I got those. And then this is something I kind of got for myself, but I'm gonna keep it as like an extra present in case I forget something for someone. But Primark were doing these really cute little notepads and they just, this one is black with rose gold writing. It says beautiful minds inspire others. And then on the white one, it's a little two pack. This one says, find the beauty in the everyday. They're not quite A4, they're a really nice like in-between size and I think I'm going to use these as scrapbooks because I've been meaning to get a scrapbook for so long. I have all, like pretty much a year's worth of New York tickets, train rides, museum tickets, shows we went to see, just lots of memories like Polaroids and stuff saved up in New York with nowhere to put them and I've just been waiting for one day where I get to put my first year of memories in New York inside something like this. So I think this will be perfect. I think it's really cute and this would be a great stocking filler for someone and these were only $3.50 in Primark. I just thought they were adorable. I got these socks in America for my boyfriend's dad. I just thought they were really nice. Ralph Lauren ones, a little Steve Madden like card holder as a stocking filler. This was really great. This I got in Boots, which I think is such a great like present for like your boyfriend's mom or something if you don't want to spend like a fortune. Um, it's the Liz Earl Hot Cloth Cleanser. I always have a really hard time saying that with two cotton cloths. And it was only like 20 euro. And I think that's a really like good price for 
I don't know like this I think would be a nice one for those who like home cooking but want to fancy it up like just a tad and like have it still be like tasty like home cooking but just a little bit more experimental but not quite fine dining I think this is a nice book for that I had to get some Primark PJs uh, my bestie loves navy so I got her these cute little moon and star print PJs from Primark I think these were only like 10 euros so super affordable and then for her little baby who I love so much he's nearly three I got him one of those like magnetic drawing boards do you guys remember these like the ones with the little like hexagon shapes and you can like draw something and then rub it out and you use like these stampers to make shapes I remember having so much fun with these so I picked this up for him and I hope he enjoys it for my mom, I spent a wee bit more money, of course, but she's my mom. Um, my mom's actually going to Spain for my auntie's birthday in January. So I thought like a new pair of like nice sunglasses would be nice because I think she broke all of her nice ones. So I got these Balmain ones in New York. So I'm speaking quietly so she doesn't hear me. Um, and then I also got her some Gap pajamas because everyone, since I'm moving to New York, Everybody talks about Gap pajamas and how soft they are and how long they last. So I had my eye on these ones for a really long time because they're so like my mom's kind of pajama print. She always goes for like a similar style. So they're really soft and I got them in the Gap 50% off sale just before I left. And then I also got her some new slippers because I just feel like slippers are guaranteed and everyone loves those Ugg style ones so I thought I would give her something similar and then all my dad wanted was one of these New York uh, Police Department hoodies he's just obsessed with them the last one he had lasted him years and he just really really likes like hanging around the house in them so that's what I got my dad and then I also got my friend some bits from Victoria's Secret and then my treat for when I'm done wrapping is this Fulfill bar. Oh my god, these are so good. They're Irish brand protein bars. And the chocolate peanut caramel one is incredible. It does not even taste like a protein bar. And I thought that this caramel cookie dough one sounded interesting. So I'm hoping it's as nice as the peanut caramel because that one is mucho amazing and does not taste like a protein bar. So I highly recommend this brand if you're in the market for... I don't know, post-workout things. I just eat them because I like them. I'm kind of like the blonde girl from Mean Girls who just eats too many protein bars, so that's my life. <laughs> this is so comfortable. So that is my evening. I'm now gonna wrap all these per Do you mind? As I was saying, that it was my evening. I hope you enjoyed this random ass vlog. Couldn't let you guys go December without some kind of vlog. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. I just hope you have a great time of year. It's the end of the year. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to leave 2016 behind. 2016 was a very big learning curve for me and it was difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was probably one of the hardest years of my life and I've been through some pretty hard shit. So that's saying a lot, but in terms of personal growth, it was a crazy one and um, yeah, so yeah, I'm a lot more optimistic about 2017. I think 2016 just wasn't my year, despite the fact there was a lot of great things that happened, like moving to New York was a big deal for me, but at the same time it was very difficult and it was by no means easy and by no means enjoyable about 80% of the time. So yeah, I'm a lot more looking forward to 2017 and what that holds. I also just wanna take a second out to thank you guys for sticking with me for another year. If you've just subscribed this year or recently, I hope you stick around. And for those of you who've been around for years, thank you again for supporting me and watching my videos. It means so much and I appreciate you guys for being so kind to me in the comments and just d d literally the, like, the most lovely subscribers. I receive like no hate from you guys and to be on YouTube and have like literally zero hate is like literally a miracle and I love my little YouTube family so yeah I love you guys and I will see you very soon Mwah. <laughs>